Good morning, my beloved students. This is teacher Mustafa, and today we're going to have a new reading story. But before we do, let's ask Bara. Yes. What do you think this page is about? It's about how many pets. How many pets, right, in the world? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, from, from cats, 85.8 tenth million. And from blue fish, it's 9.5 tenth it's salt million. Saltwater fish. Yeah, it's salt water fish. Mm -hmm. And the bird and what and the birds are 14.3 tenth million. Mm -hmm. And the freshwater fish, freshwater fish is 95.5 tenth million. So do you think from all of these numbers, do people love pets or not? Oh, I think so, yes. Yeah, you think so. How do you have a pet yourself? No. No. I was having. You I had, had before. But yes. I had a turtle, but it was dead. Ah, okay. Let's, dead. let's ask Maad. Maad? Yes, mister. Uh, can you read the other numbers, please? Okay. Uh, the... The hamsters, mice, and rabbits are 12.4 million, and the reptiles are 9.3 million, the dog and the dogs are 77.8 million. Yes, so from your opinion, huh, which pet is the most favorite for people? Dogs. The dogs? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? No cats. Cats Only are in dogs. the sugar again. So hamsters. The dogs are seventy-seven million. The cats are eighty-five million. Yeah, the cats. The cats. Are you sure about that, Yusuf Ahmad? Yeah. Yep, mister, it is freshwater fish. It's the freshwater fish, 95.5 million. Mister, but who also will love a fish to be a pet? Yeah, people like it. Yeah, uh, yeah the and, the a and also the mister will like it because he loves to eat it. Yeah, see, but uh, he thinks. <laughs> okay. So this was a comparison about the numbers of pets people owned between 215 and 216. Okay, but let me tell you something now. What do you think, guys, the topic or our story will talk about? Yes, sir, I have a question. Huh? It will talk about a bunny. It will talk about what? A bunny, Mr. a bunny. How's the how many people take pets? How do you know? They, they ask. They ask around. Huh. Now, Adam Maher. Yes, mister. Tell me, from the word pets, what yeah. do you think our story will be about today? Animals and animals, yes. Animals, wild animals? No. What kind uh, of animals? I can uh, like adopted animals. Adopted animals, very good. So they are basically pets, right? Yes, pets. Yes, they are basically pets. Do you love pets? Yes, I had too much pets. Too much. Too many? Yeah. Yes, too many pets. I okay. had the uh, fish and I had a rabbit and I had the uh, Bird, uh, maybe 20 birds. 20 birds? Yeah. You ate them all, right? Yum, yummy. Uh, no. No. They are, they are cute, like this one. Yeah, like a macaw? Yeah. It's okay. Let's go to the. Uh, this is, of course, a turtle, and this is a lizard. I, I believe you know them. Uh, this is a rabbit, a mouse, this is a hamster, and this is a rabbit, and I believe you also know them. So let's start here with a bow. Now, Adam Maher, what is the genre here? 
generalistic fiction means can be happen in real life it could happen in real life very good who's the author uh, 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 by friend hood hood what? What Fran Hopkins, mean? very good. What is the meaning of the word author? Uh, author, uh, the, uh, who writes the story. The one who wrote the story. Thank you, guys. You really helped me. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before we start, Tarek has something to say. Yes, Tarek? Mr. <laughs> you... It's uh, hamsters and mice and rabbits are 12.4 million. They will be 12.5 million because when I'm when I'm kissing big or now, I want to, to buy a hamster. They're cuter than it. They're cute. So they will be 12.4 and one. Yes. Okay. Because hamsters are cuter, but cats is much. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's read the question, then try to answer it from the text. Highlight the details that tell you about the animals that the Ryan family has taken care of. Highlight the details that tell you about the animals. The Ryan family, that the Ryan family has taken care of. Katya was accustomed to the animals that came and went at her house. While different animals from the local rescue agency waited for new homes. Katya's mom and dad took care of them. That meant at any time, Katya could find something unexpected waiting for her after school. Once, there had been a gigantic macaw in, a long, in the laundry room. Oftentimes, she would find a cardboard box full of kitten in the living room. Once, there had, been even, there, had, there had even been a boa constrictor in the bathtub. But Mavis, the snake, had been with them only for an overnight. Katya wasn't a big fan of snakes. So I need you from this, from this paragraph to answer this question. Highlight the details that tell you about the animals the Ryan family has taken care of. Huh? Can you tell me the animals that the Ryan family has taken care of? I'm waiting your answers on the chat box. I'll give you three minutes for that. Hmm. It is page 58. Hmm. Paragraph Walid, yes, uh, give me one animal. Uh, snake. Snake. Okay, Mavis the snake. Okay, that's one. Thank you, Walid. Yazan, give me another one. Uh, often time she would find a card box full of kittens in the living room. Very good, a card box full of kittens. Very good, that's two. Huh? 
يوسف رافت هاي مستر ها هلا يوسف give me a third animal ماكو ماكو I'm a cow very good I'm a cow a gigantic cow very good um, محمد عبد الباسط give me the last one yes mister ها huh, what is the last one uh hmm. uh a risky urgency waited for new homes mm, let's check Malik, what do you think yes miss huh there is okay. one lost animal yes um the boa constrictor very good, a boa constrictor. So all of those are animals Mister, what, that... What, what is gigantic marco and what is boa uh, constriction? A gigantic macaw is a type of bird, okay? And a boa constriction. A boa stricter, okay, constrictor, sorry, is a kind of snake, is a kind of... Okay, snake. Snake, okay. Okay. So the snake is? Boa constrictor. The boa constrictor. Very good. Got it? Yes. Yes, very good. So they had how many types of animals? Three. Three. Very good. Thank you guys for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's complete reading. Right now, the Ryans were fostering a litter of kittens that had been with them for two months. When the kittens first arrived, Katya and her parents had fed them with an eyedropper, and now they were old enough to run around the house. Katya liked having the animals around, but she knew the rules. These were foster animals, not forever pets. Eventually, each animal would leave the Ryans and go with someone else to its real forever home. I'm here! Katya stepped carefully through the door, checking for kittens before she put her foot down. No worries, kiddo. The kittens were adopted, Kat said as he stirred his coffee. I took them back to the rescue center this morning. Ow, Katya said. She would miss them, but it was going to be nice to once again walk through the house without fear of tragic kitten accident. Then Katya noticed the look on her father's face and she knew what that look meant. Oh, please. Not another Mavis, she exclaimed. Dad, you know how snakes freak me out. Now I have to ask a question here. This story is told from the first point of view or from the third point of view. I need answers on the chat box. This story is told from the first point of view or from the third point of view? What do you think? Muhammad Majid? Yes, Mr. Huh. First point of view or third point of view? Uh, third point of view. I third think. person point of view? No first. no, first. Where is the best? First. Okay, so Muhammad, why is it the third? And Abdurrahman, why is it the first? Uh, 
Let Abdul Rahman answer first. Huh? Because of in the first, he told the, uh, about the animal and like this, but in the, uh, I can't tell the, the third view, but we can't. Okay, what do you think, Muhammad? Why is it the third person point of view? I, I know Mr. White's a first because he told us about the first thing they was uh, while different animals right, like this and uh, he told us about the kitten and like this but in the third the point of view I can't tell. Okay, just a minute then. Huh? Muhammad, give me a reason yes, for choosing the third person point of view. Mr. Can I uh, explain uh, the third point of view, the first point of view again, because I forget it. You forgot. Then how did you answer? By luck? By luck. Yeah. Okay, Tarek. Yes, Mr. Ma, tell me, third person or first person? Third person, because how there's no not... There's no I, me, our, we. Very us. good, very good, Tarek, amazing. There's no I, there's no we, there's no us, there's no our, there's no me, right? Yes. The author and is the characters, the narrator is one of the characters? No. Very good. The narrator is not one of the characters. That's why... It is the third person point of view. Guys, I got your answers on the chat box. They were amazing. Thank you, Tara. Thank you for that. Welcome. Underline the sentence that tells the story's problem. An, an, ah. So now we need, we need, Read the problem. We need the, the problem. Pro Very good. But first, before we go to the problem, I need Safe to tell me a few things. Yes, Mister. Safe, tell me please. Who are the characters here in this story? Uh, Katya and uh, his, her dad and the macaw and the kittens, both constrictors. Yeah, so we can say that Katya and her family. Yes, yes, and uh, and foster animals. And some foster animals. Okay, so where's the sitting though? Sitting in her house. In her house. Very good. Very very good. Great, great about that. That's absolutely great. Now the events here are chronologically ordered, or they are not ordered. They are time ordered. Eh, no. They are not time ordered. Yes, because there is no first, next, then, last, finally, like this. Mm -hmm. There's no sequence words. Okay, so going to and so on. So, so let me tell you, this is the narrator. Till the events from the beginning to end or from the end to the beginning? Beginning to end. Beginning to end. Very good. So this is called time order. Even if there were no words, it's also the events go from the beginning to end, which means it is what chronologically ordered. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. read. Now here, what do we need safe? We need... Is uh, the sentence the sentence that tells the story's problem? The story's problem. Very, very good. Great. Hmm. Our new foster animal isn't a snake, my dear. Dad said, "Come see." She followed her father into the living room, which, to tell the truth was really more of an animal room where other families had only bookshelves and sofas and chairs. The Ryans also had various wire crates, cages, and pens. 
Right now, Katya's mom was standing to one of those pens, cutting a hole in a cardboard box. Katya peered into the pen at a beautiful brown rabbit. Her name is Pip, mom said, and she came to the center this morning while your dad was delivering the kittens. The usual rabbit foster person is out of town, so he volunteered us. She placed the cardboard box in a corner of the pen. Okay, Katya thought, a rabbit will be different, but not completely different. The rabbit had her own ideas. So what seems to be the problem of the story? Huh, it's in this part, huh? Eight, nine, and 10. Huh. Where's the problem of the story? Huh? Hmm. Yes, safe, maybe. Okay, Muhammad, how do you know that? Does it show? Hmm. You have two minutes. Maybe, Adam. Yeah, yeah. Are you here? So yeah, he is not here. Ahmed Ali. Yes, Mister. Where do you think the problem is here? I think I think that the. Uh... The usual rabbit foster person is out of town, so he volunteered us. Yes, so who took the rabbit then? Katya's uh, father, family. right? Katya's father, yes. What did Katya think about the rabbit? That he is uh, different, but, but that not... Uh, it will be the... different, and will it be different? Huh? It will be different. Will this? Will it be different? Yeah. Maybe. So where is the problem exactly here? Hmm. Yes, Mister. Yes. Uh, wait, yeah, yeah, wait. Huh. By the way, you're correct. You are correct. Huh. That the uh, Katya Katya think think that a rabbit will be different, but but not completely different. Very good. Th Katya thought that the rabbit will be different. Katya thought that the rabbit will be different. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me another another animal here in this uh, in this paragraph in paragraph? Uh, yeah, seven and eight. A paragraph okay, seven, eight. eight. Yes. Tell me another animals that uh, Katya's father took care of. Kittens. Kitten. 
Yes, in paragraph. Okay, we, we wrote the kitten. We wrote the kitten. It's before. Hmm. Um. Mr. I know. Hmm. Mr. Can I answer? Yes, Ahmed. Tell uh, me. Various, various, Mr. Uh, tell me, Ahmed. The brown rabbit. The brown, be the beautiful brown rabbit. Very good. So now they have four kinds of animals. They have a, ra they have a rabbit, rabbit, they had but kittens, have they had a snake. Mister, but, but we said the rabbits. You didn't say rabbits. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I think that uh, Ahmed Ali say, said it first. No That's problem. That's why I didn't say it. No problem, no problem, no problem. So the problem of the story here is that Katya thought that the rabbit will be different and will cause no trouble at all, right? Because the yes. snake, she was afraid of. She was afraid of the snake. And the kittens, she would, she was afraid that she would step on one of them, right? Yes. And the macaw made a huge voice. You know, the macaw makes a, a, a very loud voice. You can check it on YouTube, I believe. Okay. So here she, she thought the rabbit will be all cute and will make no problems, but we will see. Now, Adam, I have a critical question for you. Yes. Adam, here, this part of the story in the realistic fiction, what do we call it? The one that introduces the characters, the setting, and the problem. What do we call it? Introduction. Very good. That's really amazing. I really like it, bro. You nailed it. Very good. So this is the introduction. Introduction, very good. And as you can see here, what can you see in this image? Uh, 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 this is the what? This is the living room. The living room, very good. But is it like any other people's living room? No, it's filled with animals' cages. Yes, it's filled with animals' cages. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, so... Highlight details that develop the conflict. Highlight details that develop the conflict. The next morning was Saturday. So when a ray of light streaked in through the, blind, the blinds, Katya snuggled down deep under the covers. Then she heard a crash. Without thinking twice, she jumped out of bed and raced down the stairs to find that the wire pen where Pip had been stood empty. Pip was on the nearby coffee table looking over the edge at the broken bow that once held decorative pine cones. As Katya glared at Pip, the rabbit leaped off the table and started nibbling on one of the cones. Oh, poor rabbit, poor rabbit. No, Katya said. As Katya stepped down toward her, Pip twitched her nose, stomped her foot, and raced away. So I need you guys from paragraph 11, 12, 13. I will give you three minutes to give me what did the rabbit do or what, you know, evolved the conflict or what caused or developed the conflict, okay? There are many 
uh, you know, many reasons here, starting with paragraph 11 up till paragraph 13. Ouch. Hmm. Muhammad Hanifa, read paragraph 11 and tell me what happened first. The next morning was Saturday, so an array of lots tricked and so the blends Kataya snuggled down deep under the covers. Then she heard a crash. So what happened? What is the first thing that happened? Uh, that it was Saturday. And no, no, I, see, well, I just need three. one thing the rabbit did. Uh, that that he that he stood and that he stood the ball. Yes, yes, he broke it. Who heard it? Uh, Katia. Katia, very good. So the first thing is that she heard a crash, right? Yes, huh. right. So, sorry, what do you think the second thing is? Yes, mister. Huh. What did she do? What did Katya do? I was thinking it was she jumped out of the bed and ran down the stairs to find that the wire pen where? The wire she, pen? Wire pen had seen, had been stupid and Betty. Stood empty. Very good. So where was the rabbit? The rabbit was uh, down the stairs. Yes, where exactly? Had the bin stupid empty. On the nearby coffee nearby table. Nearby coffee table. Yes, Locking here, here the rabbit is called Pip. The rabbit is called Pip. Bib? Yes, the rabbit is called Pip. Okay, then when Katya looked at him, what did it do? Uh, maybe she bought it in... No, no, the rabbit tree. did what? The rabbit did something. Huh? Ahmed Osama. When Katya looked at it, what happened? Ahmed Osama is not here. Huh. So when Katya glared at Pip, which means looked at Pip, it leaped off the table and start nibbling on one of the cones. Nibbling means eating, so he ate the flowers. Oh my God. When Katya said, no, don't do this, the rabbit ran away, and this is the last part of what the rabbit did. Thank you guys for this amazing period. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you so much. See you after the break. Bye.